Hello, friends. I'm back in the saddle doing what I do best. And today I'm wearing my beautiful shirt that I got from the VHU, Hampton University. Um, and it says, I am my ancestor's wildest dream. Today is a very special day in history. It is January 20th, 2021. And on this day, we have elected and had an inauguration for our first, um, a whole bunch of firsts, where do I start? First female vice president, um, first black vice president, first Asiatic vice president, first um, Caribbean, she's, the family's Jamaican, it, it's like, it's everything. It's everything. And I'm so here for it. But here's some other stuff we didn't touch on. Her husband would be the first second husband because there's never been a first husband before. A second husband. It's the first second husband, right? Because it's the vice, right? And then it's also a victory for people of um, Jewish descent because if I'm not mistaken, the husband is Jewish. And they're a blended family as well. So... I get like the trumpets being mad that they didn't win the election. I get that. But we sat there and endured your your president for four years. Now, do I think that tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and everything's going to be lit? No, absolutely not. I'm a reasonable person. Joe Biden has been in a political place since the 70s. And I don't know of any major political um, advancement that have happened. But. It's a welcome change. Um, shout to everybody that got out and rocked the vote. I don't care who you are, black, white, Jew, Gentile, Asian. Uh, it don't matter. Like that, th I like this, This I like the vibes because although I don't agree with everything that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden does, you're never going to be 100% on anything. And the office of the president in the United States the president of the United States and the assistant, um, the vice president of the United States, it's not like they they say something and it just goes. It doesn't happen like that. It has to go through Congress. They can be vetoed. You know, they got to do things the right way. So the same way, you know, you work in your job and there's a way you do things, they got to work their jobs the way they do things. Do I think that, you know, the sea is going to part and everything is going to be lit? No, that don't be stupid, obviously. But at the same time, you can't even be mad at it. You cannot be mad. You're making history. Look, let your little daughters and your little sons go look at this. And if nothing else, if nothing else, I'm banging with Biden because at the end of the day, he was the vice president to the first black president and the president to the first black vice president. So even if we don't agree with everything they do, or everything that they accomplish or some of their policy or whatever the case may be, I feel like it was obviously a lesser of two evils if that's the way you feel about it. And if nothing else, our little brown boys and girls, our Jewish peoples, our Asian peoples, and all the people who never thought they could, now they know that they can. So today's a historic day. I definitely think it's a whole entire vibe. And let's talk about Michelle's hair. She looks like she smells like Motions. Y'all know Motions hair care products? And the thing I love about her is that her hair is natural. But when she come out there and it's a lot, what is it, fried out and laid to the side? She looked regal. She looked regal. And I love that Kamala chose to wear blue. No, that's purple. Royal purple. Y'all know that's my color. Right? I thought that was great. I love how her husband was supporting her. That was definitely a vibe. And what about the nephew that was wearing the Christian Dior retro ones? I was here for that. That just, like, you're black. Like you're black, like you're really black. Like being black is not just the color of my skin. It's a lifestyle. It's having to get that pressing curl. It's being worried about the humidity. It's, you know, the hot comb you smell. It's fashion sense. It's having to work twice as hard to be considered half as good. It's when you speak eloquently, people are surprised. I was watching Chris Rock a couple of days ago. I was listening to the comedy show as I was driving. He's like, oh, he speaks so well. He speaks so well. Uh, what a lot of people would say about Colin Powell. He's an educated man. Of course he speaks well. Like when she does good things, people are going to be like, oh, 
Of course, she's not an idiot. Now I heard some things that I didn't really care for. She was locking up a bunch of black men. Definitely uh, not okay with that. But um, I mean, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. It's a step in the right direction. Blended family, Jewish husband, first, second husband, Asiatic slash Caribbean slash black woman. Um, you know, and the family be, they be rocking Jays. So I mean, I don't know. I think that it's it's a step in the right direction, and it's better than the alternative. So, as the song says, let's rise up. Let's see what happens. Um, let's be optimistic because honestly, with with the other dude, it couldn't have got much worse than that. It really couldn't. We're gonna continue to turn our scars into stars. We're gonna have religious, uh, uh, racial, civil, and any other adjective that you can use, tolerance and acceptance of people that don't look like us. Cause like real talk, ain't nobody got time to be out here fighting. You got one life, like enjoy it. Thank you for staying tuned. Continue to turn those scars into stars and I'll be back with you guys later. Historic day in history, people. Remember where you were. Turn the scars into stars. Peace.